the Nkure Nkuru and Katutu border posts are the only two gazetted entry points in the Kavango West region. There is, however, an agreement between the two countries that allows for the use of six more ungazetted points to ease the pressure. But illegal entry by commuters along the Kavango River remains a matter of concern. In response to the rise of illegal entries, police have intensified operations along the Namibia-Angola borderline to curb illegal crossing. We have those six points where they should cross, but in as much as we have those points, you still find them crossing at illegal points which are not under the control of the police. During this operation, we've strengthened the, the borderline. We are patrolling there every time, so this way we are intercepting this. And when once we find them, we just advise them, educate them, warn them, and then we send them back. Commissioner Sakua Neo attributed illegal crossing into the country to socio-economic pressures, including the search for employment and business opportunities, health services, and schools. Angolan national Victoria Intumba has been using the Nkurenkuru border post for a long period, saying she depends on services from the Namibian side. Intumba says, inasmuch as she uses the right entry points, it comes at a cost, particularly with frequent traveling between Angola and Namibia. The challenge we face is the payment at the border post, particularly on the Angolan side. We pay about $20 for a return trip. At times, it becomes a challenge to pay that amount because some cannot afford. This can also trigger some to avoid crossing at the permitted crossing points along the Kavango River. However, we frequently use these points to access health services in Kurenguru. Another commuter, Chisali Jeremiah, echoed similar sentiments and highlighted some of the challenges they face. We also face challenges like the issue of payment. Some people can cross illegally at other unauthorized points and this can be dangerous for their own health. As few days ago, a person was attacked by a hippo upon crossing the river illegally at an unauthorized point of entry. But we really depend on the services on the Namibian side. It will also be nice if a bridge can be built to ease the pressure on the use of boats at this particular border post. I hope the two governments can come together to assist us in this regard.